Hi guys, welcome to another episode of Danny's Life and Travel and today we're looking at ransomware. Now, I got, uh, somebody sent me basically a, a video and said you gotta see this. So I opened it and uh, I got ransomware. So um, if you ever get ransomware, this is how to remove it on Windows 10. Um, I had a look on YouTube and everywhere there was, there weren't any videos to show you how to do this. So I had to figure it out myself and I managed to do it. Okay, so let's get on with it. Let, let's show you how to do this. Okay, guys, welcome back. I had a bit of a problem with my videos. So, um, so what I've done is here's my desktop, and I'm um, I've got malware bytes on here. So you just open malware bytes, and um, you can download malware bytes from you know online. Try and get the free version. It gives you a trial version, and I accidentally did upgrade to it. But uh, I'll, as soon as it expires, I'll just get the, the free version. So you just run this. So um, uh, run this, run a scan, first update it, make sure it's up to date, and then run the scan. And um, in the end, it'll show you, you know, it's got, you'll say it's got Trojans or, um, you know, whatever kind of viruses and threats, and just get rid of all of them. And then do the same with AVG. I have AVG on here, if I can show you. Yep, so again, um, AVG antivirus, you can get this free online. So again, make sure your protection is up to date and then run the scan, as you can see on here. So so just run the scan on both of them. And then uh, after that, when you restart it, you'll still have it because Microsoft Edge is a bit weird. It's not like Internet Explorer. Um, it doesn't get rid of it straight away. In Windows 7, I didn't have this problem because I was using um, Internet Explorer. And in that, it would just get rid of it and that's it, you know, you wouldn't see it again. But in Microsoft Edge, what I realized is, what happens is, when when, when you've run the, sc the scans, you know, you, you've done that, and then you restart it, it's still there. So it's still in your, if you open up Microsoft Edge, um, like I do now, then you can see it, you know, where I've got my, you know, on, on the top tab, the first tab will be the ransomware, it'll still be stuck there. You can't get rid of it. So what happens is, you give it time. What happened with me was I was a bit busy. I was working and doing many, you know other things. So I thought I want to make this video to show you guys how I get rid of it uh, before I actually get rid of it. So so um, I left it for a few days. You know it has a counter at the top in the top right hand corner. You know for the um, it shows you you know how many hours is left. So let me see if I can show you that on here. Um, where's it gone? Videos. Yeah, so if you can see on this, you can see on here, there, there, there's the counter, right? So, so that counter, it shows you um, what's going on, you know, basically how, how many hours you got left, and it says, you know, something will happen at the end, I don't know what, it will, what, what will happen, but um, every time you open it, it resets itself, so I realize that's pointless, so don't worry about it. And all you do is wait a few days and this will disappear. This entire thing will disappear by itself. I think what happens is because you restart the computer so many times, um, Windows realizes that, you know, um, the the back end, the, the virus itself has been removed by your scans and your removal process. And this is just left over. So it, it gets rid of it somehow. And I don't know the exact process, but it worked for me. So I hope it works for you. I mean, I'm no expert, but what I do is I try things, and if they work for me, I make a video so to show you, so you can try it, and hopefully it'll work for you. Um, and that's it. So um, try it, guys. See if it works for you. And if it does, I'm happy for you. If not, let me know, and then maybe you can try something else. Okay. Take care, guys. Bye-bye now.